the owner and the dog, dog free. I've heard people say blame the owner, not the dog after the mud malls are sleeping newborn to death. But what people tend to forget is that the dog is still the one carrying out the mauling. Yes, dog owners enable their muds to be nothing but a nuisance to the community, but it is still the dog that barks constantly, that mauls children, etc. Dogs are not blameless because they're animals. Even people who claim that they are a responsible dog owner are sitting on the sidelines playing Russian roulette with children's lives. Everything that makes dogs terrible is simply not a problem with other animals. No other animal is a man-made mutant that barks incessantly, harasses wildlife, or attacks two million children annually. The risk still exists by simply owning a dog, even if the owner claims their dog is well-trained and hasn't mauled anyone yet. Truly responsible dog owners don't own mutts in the first place because everything mutters claim they get from a mutt is attainable through healthy human relationships. Maintaining a good friendship with a human requires one to improve themselves and become self-aware. Owning a dog doesn't require improving one's self because a mutt has no concept of your character and doesn't judge you. A rock doesn't judge you either. Why don't you go be friends with a rock and boast about how it doesn't judge you? At least we wouldn't need to worry about toxic rock excrement contaminating the waterways or viciously attacking children.